channel. So today we're going to talk with Shelly again about her cold frame setup. So you've seen my videos on how we constructed my cold frame, but this is a little bit different method. And so walk me through this. What What is going on here? <laughs> well, I didn't have any lumber like you did, and I don't know how to use power tools. Okay, those and are a big concern for some people. Yes. Yeah. So I thought of using some cinder blocks and I bought these at Menards. They were about a dollar each and they are not the full eight inch. They're six inch, so they're lighter. They're easy for me to carry. And I orientated it so it faces south with a slight slope. Seems like it. Yep. yep. And I built up the back end and it's pretty level um, as far as the blocks all being on the same plane. And I've got lettuce in here. I've already had three harvests of the lettuce. It's uh, April 23rd, 22nd, and I've had three lettuce harvests. I also have some new seedlings I put in there. These were started from transplants. Um, there's some seedlings of spinach. The thermometer says it's 86 in here right now, so probably from the sun shining on all that, because it's only about 55 outside. But this is a really good spot to start seedlings, to harden off plants. It, um, for the lights, which is the, the window part, I use a uh, window that, or a um, screen. Yeah, it's not the screen, but it's the window part of a screened in door. Okay. So, and then I've got these little pipes in here. You can see there's three of them to use, um, I have some extra two by two that I just stick in there if I want to prop it up. But usually I just slide it. It's a vent. Yep, I vent it like that. And okay. that works really well. Okay, and so, so around the side of it to prop it up, it looks like you have sand built up. Mm -hmm. Sand, dirt, whatever I had. Okay. Great. Gravel. Um, yep, whatever I had. And it has not shifted. It stayed exactly where I put it. And it's perfect. It's it's really a, a season extender. Oh, that's great. On both ends, fall and spring. And how often do you water something like this? It depends on the temperature. But when it's covered, it does get pretty hot in there. But it just kind of recycles the moisture a lot. I do have to keep an eye on it though. It does get um, dried out. So, yep, I just water it from one of my little my pool of water over there that I dug, which we can see that in a little bit. Yeah. But, um, and today is a nice day. It's going to be about 65 or 67 feet. So you have the cover off, but you did put this netting on. I assume that's for bunnies and squirrels alike. <laughs> <laughs> yep, exactly. We've got a family of bunnies and they haven't figured out how to get into the garden and I don't want them figuring out how to get into here. Sounds good. <laughs> yeah. So how early did you start your transplants in here? Uh, February. February. I put those in February, so okay. that's why I have three harvests from them. Yep. And as you saw in our old cold frame videos, we were we we're doing root vegetables continuously throughout the winter in here because it keeps such a good temperature, soil temperature in there. And with a thermometer in there, you can you can control that all throughout the year too. Mm -hmm. So this is a great method to use if you don't want to use power tools, if you don't want to go out, if you don't know what type of lumber to buy, or if you don't want to use that extra expense for the garden. So this was a inexpensive way without power tools to still get the same results for your garden. All right, so we're here in what is called the pit. <laughs> this is one of your alternate water sources, correct? Yep, it is. All right, <laughs> can you explain what's going on here? Well, I needed soil for the garden, so we have a tractor, and I started digging, and it just got bigger and bigger and bigger, and it is, like I said, in a previous video of floodplain in the back corner. So I have a little canal that comes from the back corner and drains into the pit. So it gives me water and I put this pump in the pit and I can pump water to the garden. The end of the hose is over there through the hose. Yep. So I can bring that water into there so it's no charge for me. Which we like. Yeah, and there's some little extra pits over here where I didn't have the tractor and I had to hand dig. Because again, I was looking for soil and this soil is really nice and, well this is the sand that I used for the paths, but this other stuff here is great for the garden beds, to supplement the garden beds. So 
I'm always looking for new soil and I need to go and dig for it, so that's what I do. Yeah, this is this is garden gold. <laughs> it is. Yeah. So that's great. Do you have any other um, sources of water that you're getting anything from or just this for right now? Just this. Just this. Okay. Yep, just this. Well, that's definitely helping out, so that's a great alternative. Yeah. Well, that will be all for our video today, guys. Please like and subscribe if you haven't already. And as always, happy harvesting.